I miss the smell of clean sheets. I miss the smell of intimacy, the smelling of somebody else, even sweats and the bad smells. I, I miss them because they're normal. Hi, my name's Ruby Lindsay. I'm a print designer and freelance artist based in Hertfordshire. I'm currently in my studio, which is my childhood bedroom that my mum has kindly let me stay in until I land on my feet. I realised that I had contracted coronavirus a little bit after I had lost my sense of smell. The doctors told me to wait six months and it should come back. And it never came back. If anything, it's declined. I lost my sense of taste about two weeks after I lost my sense of smell. It affects me from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. It hurts my mouth to brush my teeth because it tastes so metallic. When I wash my hair, the, the chemicals in the shampoo, that's all I can smell. So all I'm smelling is chemical all day and it really does hurt my nose. I get nosebleeds because no one can see this. They don't understand. It's isolating in that way that you are suffering something on your own that people don't understand. I miss the smell of fresh air. I love that smell. There was one day actually where I opened the back door to let my dog go out and I could smell the air for like a few seconds. And I put my coat on and I just stood there sniffing the air and it was so nice. And then after that, it went again. You realise there's so many things in your life that you're excited for, which involve food, like Christmas and your birthdays, seeing friends. It all involves food. And then when you can't enjoy that anymore, it makes you not want to do those things anymore, like see people or go out. Eating just becomes a thing that you have to do so you don't like pass out or, <laughs> you know, you can't obviously not eat ever again the doctors don't know what to do about it you never know when it's going to end because you have covid symptoms nobody wants to see you in the doctors because they're scared of you giving them the virus or you bringing it into the surgery so nobody will see you either so you're completely suffering on your own and you just have to get better by yourself that definitely affects my energy levels because I'm not eating nearly as much as I used to, so you, you feel so lethargic and you, it takes a lot of effort to, to do things that normal people would be doing. Um, I found it's really difficult to even film this because I'm so hungry. so important to feeling close to somebody. I've luckily in the last month been able to smell some sort of perfume. That has massively affected how I feel about it because it's really nice. I don't think people understand how nice that is because I feel like I'm this bit closer to being normal again.